Why was there no mention of LGBTQ plus or trans rights in the debates? This was the only reference. Now she wants to do transgender operations on illegal aliens that are in prison. Now, let's talk about the LGBTQ plus policy ideas that have emerged during this election. Take Project 2025, for example, a conservative policy agenda that would legalize workplace discrimination against LGBTQ plus individuals and block life-saving health care for trans people. On other hand, Kamala Harris has been clear in her support for the Equality Act, legislation that would provide LGBTQ plus people with explicit protections against discrimination in employment, housing, and health care. While LGBTQ plus rights have been largely ignored in the debates, there has been a focus on economic policy. Here's some important information. Kamala Harris's tax plan would give a break to 100 million Americans who make under $400,000 a year. She's also working on canceling medical debt and ensuring it doesn't impact credit scores or the ability to buy a car or home. In contrast, Project 2025 aims to shift taxes from the rich to the middle class, including the burden on those already struggling to get by. Even though Donald Trump continues to deny supporting Project 2025, 140 of his former staffers and friends wrote it. I'm deeply worried some of Project 2025 will come to fruition whether he endorses it or not. Take this information and vote for what you believe in. Just make sure you get out there and vote. How are you doing? Here we go again, ma'am. I'm in Tampa right at the moment. Uh, this one is going to be um, a bad event. You were mentioning to me some of the concerns around mis and disinformation. How's that playing out? Well, it's, I mean, it's just a shame. There was a lot of misinformation um, that really was not helpful and saying things like if you take the $750 from FEMA and you don't pay it back, we're going to take your home. This narrative is false, but it's also hurtful. Yeah. And people aren't registering for assistance because they're hearing this narrative. And I'm clear on the fact that the 750 is not something that they have to pay back, right? As long Abs as they can no, establish that they were in the, in the zone of harm. That's what they get as yeah. part of what we do to help people in need. And it's just the first, right? It really helps them with those first few needs. The other narrative yeah. is that's all FEMA is going to give, which again is false. Um, we are going to help them with financial assistance for any damages to their homes, long-term rentals, or if they incurred costs like hotel costs while they evacuated, all of that will be reimbursed for them as they go through this. But I, I got to tell you though, ma'am, that the locals on the ground, the sheriffs on the ground, they are so supportive. Yeah. They are pushing back hard on this narrative. Apply for aid because it's, it's designed to help you. Please take care of yourself. I'll talk to you again soon, sadly. All right. I know. I will. Okay. Take care. Because you get nothing else from me today. Goodbye. Don't make me call Portia. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Hi, I'm Angelica Wynn from Asheville. Thank you so much for being here. We're we're making it. Is your family? What's going on with your family? Well, we just got power, but we had no water power and no cell phone service. And there's still a lot of folks missing, and there are a lot of people are grieving and hurting. But there's also a lot of resilience. There's a lot of resilience. The community is coming together. We are organizing. Uh, NC Counts is doing what they can to get resources to that area. The members are doing donation drives that mean so much for our community. Yeah. Um, and, you're here and we're just surviving. Yeah. Yet yeah, you're still here helping yeah. people. Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Absolutely. Right. And we're grateful for all the support that you have given us. Uh, we still need a lot more. We want to make sure that people don't forget about us yeah. because this is going to be a recovery for a very long time. Yeah. And so, but grateful that you're here and that we're going to get to well, I'm work gonna together. Well, I'm going to get in line so I can help Absolutely. you do the work, but, <laughs> but we're here for the long haul. Thank okay? you. Okay? Thank you so much. We're here for the long haul. If 100 Republicans who worked in national security for President Reagan, both Bushes, and for President Trump, now endorsing Harris for president. She came up as a prosecutor, an attorney general, into the Senate. She has the kind of character that's going to be necessary in the presidency. She has the strength. She has the values to deal with the uncertain crisis. 
if you care about America's leadership role in the world, uh, a vote for Vice President Harris is the right vote to make. Generals, secretaries of defense, secretaries of the Army, Navy, and Air Force, CIA directors and National Security Council leaders under Democratic and Republican presidents, Republican members of Congress, former Trump administration officials, and even Vice President Cheney agree. There's only one candidate fit to lead our nation, and that's Kamala Harris. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. I got that phone call and it was a woman who talked to me about a vision for the future mm -hmm. of America that was people centered. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, my goodness, this young black woman sees a vision for America that includes all of us. Yeah. And that was in 2019 when she was first running right. for president. Right. So in this time, right here, yeah. right now, if we all know what is good for us, we will vote for the best <laughs> for all of us. Listen, I keep her close to my heart right there, says vote, and that's her right back there. But for everybody else who feels outside of this, I want you to lean into your moral compass. Mm -hmm. You know the difference between right and wrong, good and bad, and what is good for all of us. I need us to <coughs> bend that arc towards what is going to be good for generations to come. Yes. America is worth it. We are worth it. You yeah. are worth it. Yeah. Thank you. So vote.